Hello YouTube, Blue Matona here, and welcome to episode number 7 of this Let's Play Rome 2, uh, sorry, Total War Rome 2, uh, as the House of the Julia Faction. Uh, where we left off last time, we took the settlement of Genoa uh, with Did our faction out? heir, our uh, our son, uh, Julius Dorcio. Uh, what's his first name? Septimus? Something like that? Yeah, Septimus Julius Dorso. Dorsuo. And, um... Yeah, and we, we fought the uh, first secession war. This a house of Apiria seceded. Uh, we beat them. They didn't have any cities there or any settlements. They just had the one army. And um, we took them out. We They are no longer here. And we are protected for another eight turns for uh, uh, another secession to take place, which gives us a little bit of time to, you know, maybe um, pursue a bit of additional expansion, just kind of, you know, make some moves. So without further ado, let's uh, let's go ahead and jump into this episode. So first of all, we're doing pretty well financially. We're making almost four thousand a month or a turn. Um, we have some good trade agreements. We have a nice security here with our Italian provinces, our two major ones, Magna Gratia and Italia. Um, Alalia over here is turning into a nice, uh, pretty profitable settlement for just the one, um, you know, the one city. Obviously, uh, Corrales down here is the larger city, um, but that's okay. We, we don't want to go to war with Carthage just yet. And it will be finishing the harbor uh, next turn, which will make even more money. So, yeah, it's at 453 right now. It'll be kind of interesting to see what that moves to. We just took Genoa, uh, which, you know, which makes sense as to why the public order is so bad, because it's getting going to get minus 20, uh, minus 20 here for at least one turn, um, and then the provincial instability will decrease additionally as we go on from there. Um, you know, we are gaining a military presence is adding 17 to that. Uh, I would like to kind of move this army, but uh, it, for the meantime, it's okay to be here. Some of these horse, especially this horse unit, for example, needs... Uh, need some good replenishment. So we are also researching the technology, the boiling oil technology. Um, we have another force here led by uh, Dolabella, and we have another force here led by our faction leader, uh, Julius Vento. Um, yeah, so we are going to use these two forces as our primary forces to capture settlements. I might be going after uh, the Veneti next, um, and then trying to turn my way around the coast and go take some of these provinces over here, um, because that is one of my missions, if I remember right, one of my objectives. Uh, at least one settlement in the following prov uh, provinces, and Illyria is one of those to achieve that mission. So, this is Illyria, it has uh, Delminium, um, Yadr, and uh, Epidamnos, Ep Epidamnos. Uh, so it's these three. So we can probably cut down the coast from the north. So you, sir... Let's get you to the border, and we can decide how we want to press this. Uh, there is another... we got a couple armies we got to deal with here. So we got the Stone Crows, which is uh, with Liguria, who we are at war with currently. Um, and then we have here by the Veneti, we have the full army, 2020, the Tumult. Uh, we are not at war with them currently, and I believe we actually have a trade agreement with them. Uh, where are the Veneti in here? We do. So we do have a trade agreement with them, so war would, you know, cost us our trade agreement. Um, which would be a bit of a bummer. You know, there's no doubt about that. I still really, really, really would love a trade agreement with Athens, because I think it's going to be a very long time until Welcome. I, uh, I get over to the their area to of the world, but I just can't My get more than a, a low chance with them um, without having to offer. Maybe if I can give offer money, maybe answer, I, I offer a little bit it. of money. Let's, let's kind of, let's actually see payments. I mean, if I offer, like, uh, 1340 it brings it up to a moderate chance, and I mean, you know, a trade agreement with Athens would be worth uh, 163, so you know, over the course of like nine turns, that would then be profitable, um, even though it requires a little bit of uh, finances up front, but I, I do think that if, if, we, if it's enough to get it done, I think we should give it a shot. Still rejected. You would not sell much in our marketplace. I mean... Our people are rather sophisticated and clever. Really frustrating. I really don't want to pay too because that now that pushes out our about twelve turns timeline for it to be profitable. Um, I don't think I'm going to spend that much. We're not going to do that. So Athens doesn't want to trade with me. That's fine. Uh, they absolutely don't have to. Um, let's just focus on what we're doing right now, uh, and that's expanding north. Uh, we do have hopefully you know Vento here. I would love to get. 
one more heir, one more child. Obviously, we did have one child die at the age of 10. Uh, Dorsero is 21. He is already married, so hopefully we'll keep his family tree going and uh, get more generals that way. Oh, Spy is moving towards the capital of uh, Medlan. Um, Genoa is pretty easy to defend. Uh, there's only really the mountain pass here along the coast. Uh, maybe that's a pass there. And then obviously these passes in the north, which have to go through Medlan before they get there anyway. And then over here in Massilia, uh, Massilia, what are, what's our relations with them? Uh, we have a trade agreement, and they, you know, somewhat like me. They don't like that I went to war with Liguria, but that's okay. So what I think we're going to do, this army's full. Uh, actually, it's not full. Um, why don't we fill that army up? Um, and I think the reason I wasn't is because I didn't want to achieve uh, this mission until I completed one of these, because I thought that it would increase the payout I get from this, but it actually did not. So why don't we fill up the rest of this army? We have, what do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six Principes, three Triarii, you know, three units of cavalry plus my general, two Ballistas, two Velites. How do we want to fill this out? Let's take a look at the unit recruitment options. We actually don't have any. Ah, well, it's because it's in Genoa. Um, so why don't we actually move our Tremilius Dolabella army towards Genoa? Um, that army can maybe go in for defense of, that, of the city. And uh, in a turn here, we can move this army back over the border when it has movement points left and uh, into, you know, the Italia province, into Velathri, and where we can really train in units there. So our armies are moved into a position I'm pretty happy with. I mean, I feel like I should focus on one war before jumping into another, like with Patavium. Or, sorry, with uh, Veneti here in Patavium. Um, they don't have any allies there. I mean, every, I think it's everyone at War with Slaves. Yeah. They don't have any allies. Um... What do we got here? Importing olive oil, right? This is this is our trade. Do I get a negative, like for attacking a nation that I have a trade agreement with? Um, I actually don't know the answer to that. Greetings. Speak plain and without declaring war and all agreements. This sometimes costs well. comes at the cost the of deals with other factions as they will pick sides. Uh, why don't we just cancel the trade agreement first? There was no so we maybe don't get a penalty for that, anyway. and then trade we can declare war. But we don't need to declare war yet. Let's just uh, let's just trespass first. We'll trespass with our with our full force here, um, and start going in to target their uh, settlement of Tavi. Okay. Um, as for the rest of our cash, I mean, we definitely have some upgrades we can do. We have a lot of up, you know upgrades already. As I've gotten more flush with cash, we could up the herding ground. Um, which again, I'm not worried about the public order per turn. This settlement is is currently making, uh, we have a positive 13 excess in public order each turn, and it's currently at 100, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, yeah, so I think we can get a couple herding grounds going, which will only do two more each for another 75 wealth and two food. So why don't we just kind of get those cattle pens going. Both two cattle pens going, training up, and that, yeah, this food surplus, I mean, it is just, it's really, really nice. Um, Bredizium, down here, we definitely want to uh, rebuild our naval force, if we can. Um, I found these Velites in the in the missile uh, clinkering to be pretty powerful, so why don't we bring in two more forces of those uh, this turn, and we will bolster that up. Okay! Uh, I think that's that's a good place to move on to the next turn. Yeah, nothing crazy is going on in here since we have some turns until the next uh, potential secession. And let's let's move out of winter into uh, into the spring. Let's do it and let's see what the enemy armies do. Yeah, Carthage ships, normal thing. They're going to be moving around. All right. Nothing too crazy yet. None of these guys are the ones that are really near me. Liguria. They want peace. Yeah, because... No, I, I don't want peace yet. Um, because I don't want peace with Liguria until I... Uh, oh, they came in and attacked. Now that I was not expecting. Uh, why is their force so heavily favored? Um, they just have a lot of short swords... Um, I cat one of my cavalry units is basically nothing. Yeah. Okay. I mean, do I not get any? I guess I don't get any defensive forces from Genoa because it was not. Um, I just took it. 
So, okay, I was not expecting an attack. Let's see what happens. Okay. So we are defending, uh, which gives us a little bit of an advantage. Let's take a look at their force really quick. So, um... They got a lot of slingers. I mean, hopefully we can maybe take out some of these slinger units with our cav, just knock them out. And then, yeah, they have a lot of uh, infantry, and uh, I'd probably outnumber them cavalry-wise. So, why don't we take our force... General! We'll just back it up for a second. Let's get these ballistas. If these guys could... If these ballistas could do a, a lot of damage, that would be really nice. How's their range? Uh, what, it's not showing me the range. Ah, the range only goes to about there. See, I would love for these ballistas to, like off the bat be able to start firing at the enemies, but that would that would kind of necessitate me putting them in a bit of a vulnerable position. Maybe I could put them here. Putting them there would put the enemies into uh, yeah, in um, range right off the bat and then get explosive rounds, which are uh, better against infantry. Uh, right, if I remember correctly. Yeah, better against infantry at a little bit of a, uh, a disadvantage accuracy-wise. That's okay. We're going to just need to need the bank on those guys. Um, all right. Then what we're going to do is we want to heavily defend. This is a very tight path coming in. Can troops even move through there? Okay. Oh, troops can move across these walls. Oh, I thought this was maybe not passable. Okay. Um, so we'll... Yeah, our general will have to be effective in this fight. No doubt about that. So maybe we'll get. We're gonna have to kind of use our cav here, um, flank around. Maybe we'll go take try to take out some of their mercenary light horse cavalry. Just knock their cavalry out because I think in an, in an infantry fight, I feel pretty good about my units, even though you know a lot of them are uh, fairly damaged. So why don't we take three units of uh, Princopes, put them in front here, in this uh, in this gap. These guys will be... Let's put them on, um... Target fire will. Formation attack. Where is guard? Yeah, we'll put them on positions. guard mode. I want them holding this position hard. This is with these, uh... With this artillery behind them. And then, um... We can take a unit of Triarii as a backup force there. And maybe... And then, yeah, we can think of what we want to do with our Velites. Um... So let's just group those guys off. Those guys are in position. And then we have... The rest of our Principes here, we have some Triarii and some Velites as well. Um, it really depends where they start attacking. Like I'm thinking, maybe, maybe the Velites actually go, you know, behind the uh, the front line here. These guys maybe sit in reserve. The Triarii and our two Velites maybe um, can position here and again guard with any assault right up in here at my artillery pieces. And then Triari can go in and fill any gaps if the frontline Principes begin to falter. And, um, yeah, okay, so this can be our force, our, our guarding that flank force. Uh, we have here the remaining three units of Principes. I guess we can position them here with the Triari behind them. Not all the Triari, sorry. No, those guys, I want one unit over there. But with the Triari behind them there. And, uh,. Let's go ahead and let's start this battle and put it on pause. And yeah, we're gonna have one unit here. I want you, yeah, just start firing on short swords. Other unit, start firing on short swords, and let's go. All right, you shouldn't need to advance. Yeah, all right. Well, no, they didn't advance far. I'm not sure why these ballistas are rotating like that. Okay, hold up. Their cavalry immediately charged in on me. They're immediately charging in. Cavalry, hold. Come on, guys, hold. Hold against the cavalry charge. I think I should be able to hold against their cav. Yeah, one unit fell already. Alright, you know what? Hold up a second. Th these guys... Just halt. Just fire at will. Fire at whoever you want. Just 
Just, just be firing. There you go. Yeah, just be firing. There you go. Look at that. Doing nice damage. Are we struggling against that light horse? No, we're not. We got him. Cavalry, get out there. And let's get this force here moving out on the flank. Yeah, we are going to work on holding this stretch. Use your, uh, use your Pila, men. Use your Pila. There we go. Throw those spears. Use your Pila. Triari elite troops get in there. Cavalry, we're going to loop behind. We're going to try to take out their ranged men. There we go. It is just going to be an infantry slog here in the front. We do have our Velites doing, uh, keeping their shots on. There we go, everyone going on the Celtic Slingers. My general. I don't want you in the front line there. Triari, why don't you get in and attack those troops? We will inspire our front line here. All right. Yeah. Stay on the ranged units, cavalry. General, let's get you out of the fray. I just don't want to risk you. There we go. Triari have engaged the spear nobles, and this Triari have come in on the flank. Oh, my Triari unit just took a huge hit from my ballistas. That's not good. Come on, man. Route the uh, route the ranged units, please. All right, maybe Ballistas, you guys might need to halt here. Stop firing. I feel like you're doing more friendly fire than, uh, than not. Yeah, this Triari unit is having some trouble. I'm surprised these guys are having so much trouble out here. And this should be a winnable fight for them against some, uh, short swords units. I mean, my Principes. Combat's even. Here at the front, I mean, we have kind of sectioned off some of these guys there, so I'm pretty pretty happy with that. My equites are really struggling against these slingers. I mean, let's let's turn around. Let's maybe hit. Let's just get some charge bonuses going in here with my equites. Maybe try to help out some. Uh, try to help out some of these uh, these trap triari out here. Yeah, you can see my Peltists are still just throwing their spears in this way. And you guys now, let's advance and, and, and make sure we are attacking there. Alright, these guys have won their fight. Let's spread the line. Aquites, turn back around and charge on the ranged units. My general is here some, for some reason. Please back back up. Yeah, these princes, these guys are doing a good job. How my cav? Cavalry, just yeah. Let's just get these slingers out of the fight, please. Maybe go. No, those guys are falling. Let's go hit these short swords here. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Yeah. All right. These guys can charge in. Yeah, we're gonna finish off this flank, no problem. Equites, go hit this almost full short swords unit. Get a nice charge in on them. Did some damage. Those guys are all starting to route. Great. All right, I'm feeling pretty good about this. Yeah, we can we can focus on the cavalry. Just stay on the range units from here on out. Those guys flee. You guys all now go charge in on their short swords. Go help the uh, Triaria unit that's been really basically fighting to the death there this whole time. Yeah, these guys are almost done. There they go. They broke. Why don't you guys go and advance out and help out, uh, go after the Spear Nobles. There we go, there's some Pila throws in on the Short Swords, and the, um, Prinkapes are coming in, and yeah, these guys are now heavily outnumbered. Way to go, Triari, you guys really did a great job this fight. And yeah, now they are just getting completely enveloped. Nice. Cavalry, yeah, stay on the, uh, stay on the Slingers, make sure to knock them out, knock them out of the fight for good. 
Yeah, there shouldn't be too much more here. These guys have started to route. This unit of Spear Nobles is wavering. Once they route, I think that'll be it for the fight. Looks like we gained some experience there on some troops. And yeah, we can end the battle there. Alright, way to defend the city, guys. Awesome. Decisive victory. We captured 263 enemy troops, which is awesome. Um, yeah, we just really used our defensive fortification there really well. Look, we got look at how much experience we gained. Gained at least look at that. Look, look at all those units that gained experience that fight, especially the Velites. Total men killed or captured 146 and 142 for the Velites units. That is a humongous number. Uh, those guys were just mowing them down uh, that whole fight. So that was awesome. Uh, we can release captives, which gives us thousands. We can enslave the captives, or we could uh, kill the captives, enslave them. All right, their army pushed back towards their capital, and we will be hot on their tail uh, with our army. Absolutely. Ooh. Haha, uh -huh, interesting. All right, what is this? If you wish for peace, prepare for war. Your endeavors will not go unopposed. Prepare for the inevitable. Raise forces capable of conquering your... Okay. Maintain 60 units in total. Um, bonus objectives completed. One of four. Alright, we got another objective issued. Control 25 settlements. Uh, either by direct ownership or through client states and military allies. Also, we got a mission to research philosophy, which will give us uh, cultural understanding. Plus four owning factions, cultural influence, uh, spreads owning factions, culture to neighboring provinces, and minus 20% public order penalties. Okay. Ship rights report. We added ships. Household expands. Okay, we got a little cavalry unit thing. And we got some harbors, meeting place done. We're just making a bunch more money, even though we canceled that trade agreement. So what I would assume is happening here is I think Batavian, uh, they're moving their, they're moving an army over uh, towards Ariminum because they think we're about to go to war. And they're not wrong. <laughs> They're not wrong about that. Um, the real question is, though, is this force uh, in in range? It is. Yeah, we'll get this force back into the city. Uh, Dolabella will defend uh, Ariminum. Uh, I didn't think about the fact that a uh, navy could cut across there, but we are well defended now. I'm not worried about their little 12 unit. Even though there's a great name, Fury of uh, Sabazois. Sabazois. Savazios, or whatever. Um, not really worried about them. Uh, we could also go look at Medlan. Uh, what does Settlement Sabotage give us? Um, yeah, chance of success is 45%. Let's give it a shot. We need to get one of these successful, right? This is like our third try now, and we haven't had a successful one yet. Uh, failed. Okay. Uh, we can go ahead and finish this force off. Uh, yeah, we'll just advance with this army. Um, I mean, I was planning on moving them back. But uh, I think I'm going to need that force over there. So we'll, we'll advance. We'll go, go finish off the Stone Crows. Should be a piece of cake. Great. So this should be a uh, this should be a piece of cake. Yeah, what do they have? Just a little bit of ranged. You guys can be on fire, Will. They're about to enter into your range here. Poor guys. Alright, here we go. Here comes some uh, some shots. Oh. Tough one. We'll just have my cavalry charge in. Yeah, they're getting some good hits here with standard shot. Hey, good, we just gained experience on both of the ballistas. That's huge. That's what I was hoping for there. Um, yeah, I really wanted to make sure that we... Those guys, I noticed they didn't gain any experience last fight, so... That's pretty awesome. And we'll tell them to halt now. Let our cavalry finish up the job. Cavalry go after the slingers. That unit can go after the spear nobles. What do they got here? It's nine of them. I know it's a spear unit, but should still be completely winning. They just, ooh, they just barely missed each other. And no, they broke rank before the cavalry hit. That's not smart. Yeah, they're down. Oh, they actually didn't kill any on the charge. You guys here, what, you're chasing down the routers? Yeah. 
That's fine. Still at nine. Come on, guys. Really? There we go. There, they're dropping a number. The enemy general is dead. Good, good, good. There we go. All right, decisive victory. No surprise there. And yeah, I mean, what did we get? Six captives. Is that all? All right, we did gain rank uh, Septimus Julius Dorso, so that's awesome. Now, what did the effect of taking on those slaves have? So, um, plus 56%, uh, or sorry, plus 11%, it's giving me slave population, 18%. Public order effects, minus 7. Yeah, that's not a problem. Right? None of these places are, all these places, public order is fine. Maybe not here. Yeah, public order is actually decreasing here. Cultural differences still holds uh, a good portion of that. Oh, no, wait, I'm sorry. It's negative, but it's gaining. Uh, sorry, we're gaining public order. We're gaining public order. Yeah, we're gaining public order everywhere. Everywhere except Genoa, um, which, you know, makes sense. Because uh, we moved the army out, so we don't have that effect anymore. And, yeah, it's it's not going to be too happy with us, uh, especially culture-wise. Culture um, but Latin culture is gaining very quickly. Um, one thing I didn't notice last turn that I noticed now is all these buildings in Genoa, uh, we don't actually get anything from them because it's not available from a faction. Uh, so we don't get the full bonuses, um, but I can convert, like, that's a, that's just a village. Like, I can convert that into one of these types of settlements. So, like, civil, you know, farming or market. Um, yeah. It's very expensive <laughs> because of the culture, local culture. Uh, I guess we could just... What's the income from? We got some farming agricultural income. I mean, there is, like, a field here. I guess this is sort of a... A version of our farm, right? Yeah, field gives, seven, yeah, wealth and food, and yeah, we'll just kind of. I guess we can just kind of do herding grounds. I mean, we, again, we don't need a lot of the excess food. Uh, grain pits would be nice, maybe a little bit of a bonus. Let's do grain pits just to get the bonus army punishment in the uh, in the region. Uh, woodworker, um, what is that the equivalent of? I actually don't get anything from this, uh, so we can just go ahead and uh, and dismantle. Uh, we have a, they had like a fishing village. We don't, I don't think we need fishing here in Genoa. Uh, maybe this would be a nice place to put a, a military fleet. Um, here I have a harbor, which is not military. Here I have a trade place. So maybe this would be a nice place to actually be able to train up military fleets as well. So we could do dry dock. Uh, we could do um, this type of dock, normal docks. Um, yeah. Scorpion, Missile Trireme. Yeah, why don't we why don't we do a different one? Why don't we do docks? Boy, that's expensive. And then yeah, here we have village currently. And we'll just do a uh, civil settlement. That's fine. Yeah, so we'll get all that changing. Um, I think that's important to get going, get this settlement into you know into our control. Um, and then this army. Yeah, no reason we can't just go after uh Kmetlan now. Um, yeah, it's siege engines. Uh, I guess we have ladders. Oh, uh, that must be from a technology. That's pretty cool. Yeah, we don't need to build anymore. We can just uh, assault with the uh, the ladders that we have. Four should be enough. Or, you know, one, one set of them. And this is actually... This is really cool. This is the first walled settlement fight uh, I've actually had in this game. And, I mean, this is this is awesome. I mean, look at this settlement detail. Look at its tiers. It's got this... Mountain Guardian's back. I mean, I could set up troops over here and advance up through this pass over the hill and then, you know, down into the settlement. Um, really, really cool design. I'm a really big fan of that. So I would have to go all the way around in that case. So that's not really worth it. But yeah, the, the core of the settlement is guarded by this wall, uh, by this, you know, fort wall. Um, it has an archer tower. Archer towers. I got a lot of towers, actually, um, with really overlapping fields of fire. Um, so let's have some fun with this, and let's let's see how it goes. So, uh, we have our four units that have the siege engines. Why don't we... I don't think the Triarii should have the siege pieces. Uh, instead, I would actually rather put... Um, I'd rather put, like, uh, Principes on them, uh, if possible. Which, uh, of course, it is possible. Principes. And we'll take those four. Oh no, I don't want these guys on them. No, you guys drop. Brave Romans, to a man. 
Prince Base can grab that. And you four be ready to advance with the ladders. We'll probably put two right in this way and two more kind of along the wall towards the main gatehouse. And let's, let's see how this goes. Start battle. Attack that ready and waiting. Yeah, we can, uh... Why don't we, uh... Yeah, we can go right in at their, uh... Yeah, right in at their walls. Um, we can also take our bell taser. Can we put them on flaming shot? No, we can't. Okay. Oh, you guys. Oh, did I, I forgot to set them up. Shoot. No, you guys move into position, please. I want you firing. Where are you guys firing at? Uh, what do we have? We can't do flammable rounds. We have explosive too. Yeah, they're just firing in at the wall. Just damaging the wall. That's actually that's actually pretty good. The battle is turning in our favor. Yeah, definitely go go and hit the wall if you can. We have our ladders moving up. Can I march in uh, Testudo? Will I do this? No, I can't. I can't have the guys behind me Testudo. Okay. Right, why don't you guys start firing at the wall too if you are in range? There we go. They are in range. There go the shots. Any second now. Boom. All right, couple, couple nice hits. Sixty-five percent damage now on the wall. Make that seventy. So you guys actually, why don't you drop your like, siege engines? Understood. We'll get the one ladder set up, and the rest of you guys, let's get you ready to advance into the breach. There we go, the wall's down. Charge in, go, go, go. Yeah, and here we have a unit that is about to start climbing up with the ladders, up toward, up onto the walls themselves. Triari, I get in the city. All right, there we go. Principes are rising up. These Principes, we get behind these men right here. Charge into the city. There go the guys from the ladders. They are jumping in, immediately engaging the enemy. And yeah, here we go. We got engagement now in the city itself. Can I like go after these towers. These towers definitely seem like they're doing a pretty good amount of damage. Why don't we send one unit off out after the towers? Yeah, they're doing a pretty good job here. You guys, oh, there are Celtic skirmishers over here. Why don't we get some cav in the city? Yeah, because these Celtic skirmishers are still in position. Oh, what are you guys doing? Come take out the arrow tower. Melee infantry advance into the fray. I didn't realize you guys had stopped fighting. General. Let's inspire our unit here at the front. Yeah, are they... They like lighting up the tower now. Oh, I see how that works. They just they're gonna just throw damage at it, fire damage at it. All right. My two unit of equites have entered the settlement. One of our units has used all. Let's go take out the towers, please. Why don't you position in here? Let's go see what happens if I take that city center. All you units now. There we, we are taking this gatehouse. Can we keep keep firing? Come on, guys, don't stop. What happens if I take this area? Do these towers stop firing? I guess we'll see in a second now. I know I'm taking fire. I want to see what happens here. No, the towers didn't stop. I'm not really sure what the advantage is of taking the zone. Go after the Celtic tribesmen, please. Prince 
Jeez, these towers take a lot of damage to take out. My god. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, cavalry's having some trouble with the slingers, getting through them. These guys still haven't taken out this tower. Not the gatehouse, the tower. How are these guys doing? Doing pretty good. Those guys are starting to waver. We're going to take this tower for us, for ourselves. Yeah, these cities are very, uh, very well defended. It's kind of cool. I'm a fan. It's just pain to take out. Yeah, this arrow tower just refuses to, like, go down. I mean, look at this. Yeah, we've lost a lot of horsemen. The men are wavering. Yeah, I know. Lost a lot of you. Why don't we retreat you out of the city? Jeez, yeah. Okay, taking out the towers is definitely not the way to do it. Do they have anyone left? I mean, I guess our infantry block can keep uh, keep moving their way through the city. An entire unit has perished. Lovely. This tower is still somehow not down. Finally! Finally it's down. I mean, my god. That was ridiculous. Jeez. Yeah, these, these towers are crazy, uh, do crazy amounts of damage. Alright, why don't we have our troops come in and capture that zone first before we keep moving up, because these towers can fire at us on our walk up. Yeah, they're pretty, they're all pretty exhausted. I don't even know where the rest of the enemy is here. Yeah, these, these, we have captured the gates. I am shocked at how how heavy the damage that these towers do is. Uh, all right, this should give me the towers though. Once I capture this, I would imagine. Any second now. All right, so I've captured it, but I, I, I can't capture the towers. All right, there we go. Yeah, okay, the towers are mine. Uh, I don't know where the enemy is. <laughs> uh, maybe they're just like up here. Is this the city center? I mean, let's. I guess let's just keep advancing, right? I mean, I, I, don't, I don't really see another way to do this. Probably underestimated this fight a little bit. City defenses in this game seem to be a lot stronger than in uh, other Total War games, like other games that I'm used to. Do I lose it when I leave the zone? No, no way. I guess I do. Yeah, I'll just get these guys up the hill as quick as possible towards the city center. I imagine there's a unit of troops left up here. Yeah, there they are. Axe Warriors. We get a Pila throw on them before we engage. No, oh, they gotta throw on me, it seems like. Can I throw my uh, fire bolts from down here? Yeah. Not doing too much damage, but better than nothing, I guess. Ugh, what if I like told everyone to fire at that for a second? Will I, will I just do like a ton of damage? Everybody fires their fire up. Kind of? Not even really. Not really. Alright, let's let's pull back. And get more into a formation here. Versus these guys, instead of just lobbing them in the choke point. Especially with how tired these troops are here. All right, Triari units. See if you can't focus on that tower. Where's my Principes units? Let's try to get some Pila throws on these guys. Soften them up a little bit. The enemy have taken a tower. Yeah, my men seem absolutely gassed. They gotta throw on me. We gotta throw back on them. All right. Triari, get up around the flank, please. Alright, we're just gonna have to fight these guys. This tower, these towers just don't want to fall. Alright, 
I mean, I can't, I can barely even like loop cab around behind them if I really want to. I don't have the cavalry to do it anymore. Let's go speed three and, and make our way through this fight, I guess. Come on, guys. Yeah, units are starting to route, and honestly, I don't blame them. Alright, we're gonna pull back again. Yeah, their guys are really frustratingly holding this, uh, this choke point really well. I mean, I have not been able to do a lot of damage against these, these troops here. Maybe it's time we just the enemy have taken a tower. try to get some reinforcements in here. I mean, these we still have a lot of Pila throws left here. I would really love to use them. Yeah, there we go. You know, use them really soften up these guys before they uh, before we engage in a melee. Brave Romans to a man. Prince of Base, get around behind. You guys get up the flank. Prince of Base, hit them from behind. Same with the spears. All right, let's see if I can't engulf them here and. Hopefully this will take them out. These guys need to need to stand pat a little firmer if they can. This is not it's not route now, guys. We have them on the ropes. Come on! Oh my God! What a battle! Jeez! I lost so many men. Ooh. All right, tough fight. Really tough fight, but we uh. But we got the close victory, and uh, if I if I take them as uh oh that's this settlement right no we'll just uh, we'll just occupy I don't think we need to loot um what is what is this does it help hurt you gain money from looting building someone with damage but I might have to replace the buildings anyway yeah let's do that we'll take the money Ready for battle. we'll loot Belan. Um, yeah, because all these all these uh, these aren't even my building anyway. So I'm gonna. Uh, why do I care if they're damaged? Um, all, all it does is hurt public order at a greater rate a little bit, but that's that's not a big deal. Um, that's fine. And then yeah, we got a little bit of extra slaves in some in some other settlements, which is uh, giving minus ten to public order now instead of uh, minus seven. So we probably need to stop taking slaves for a little bit. Um, at your command. How may I serve you? Yeah, spy. Let's get you. Going this way, I mean, we got Liguria. I mean, now that I've taken, I take the settlements I kind of wanted to. You know, like these are these are different. Uh, uh, this is a whole different area up in the north, and I don't know if I want to expand up there yet. So maybe, maybe let's see if I can't get a, you know, piece of Liguria. I mean, they 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 are pissed off at me, no doubt about that. But like, are you I've been absolutely foolish, crushing them. Yeah, chance of success is high. Well, speak. Um, listen before I turn you inside they don't out. They don't want a trade agreement, which I guess makes sense, but uh, we will uh, demand a payment, as a bunch of you recommended um, on YouTube that I do. If the chance of success is high, then we should definitely be demanding payment. Still high, so I'm going to just keep upping this um, until it becomes not high anymore. Okay, 4,500 is low. Let's try to split the difference about three moderate. Will they take that peace treaty in three... And I demand 3,000. They have accepted. The gods All right, so we got peace with them. Um, we have made 3,000 ducats in the process, as well as captured these two settlements in this region of uh, Cisalpina, uh, Cisalpina, um, and Batavium is the last one, which we you know we're advancing on now. Now this army is is weak. Uh, it's gonna have to stay put for a while. We got the we got to get these units. Uh, they have to replenish. Um, but we did gain character rank uh, for my son, for my faction heir. Um, we can do the next level, definitely general, and we'll keep that going. I want him to be a very good land general. Um, Medlon, I mean, we could spend this money here. Uh, fortified settlement is a provincial capital. That's why it was okay. Fortified, sub fortified settlement. Um, we can uh, convert that to, I guess that's kind of the equivalent of my civil colonia or a garrison colonia. Not really sure, but I think what we should do here in the north is uh, we should probably do garrison colonia. Um, 
because this might be my northern border, northern border uh, for a while. So we'll do the garrison. They had a storage pit. Um, okay, so that's this this kind of this this sort of building. So we could do what's a slave trader. Um, temp well from industry. Eh. We could do the amphitheater, which gives the entertainment. Uh, delicatessen, which gives food. We don't really again. We don't really need food. Seventy wealth from local commerce, though. We could do cattle trader, which gives wealth from agriculture and local commerce. Can't do wine trader. Can't do library. Um, requires scholarship technology. Requires some text. So maybe we do. We do cattle trader. And move up to cattle trader for local commerce. Get some wealth from agriculture. Um, I mean, amphitheater might not be the worst thing in the world. Helps with public order a lot, which, you know, might be a problem in this region for the short term. Um, I mean, slave trader isn't bad, but I don't think it's necessary. I don't want that whole huge public order hit. Uh, yeah, we'll do cattle trader. And we have, finally, they had a proving grounds. Um, which is kind of like their military version. Uh, we cannot build this. We cannot build Basilica Equestris. Um, we could do an uh, Armaductor, which is recruitment capacity, plus 10% melee, infantry attack upon recruitment, or this one, which gives missile attack upon recruitment. Maybe let's just, uh, just dismantle that building and see what we get next. Okay. Um, so we got, a, I mean, everything's under construction here in this region. We got a lot going on. Uh, we're well defended here in Ariminum. Still have a lot of money to spend. Uh, you know, we're not we're not exactly on the verge uh, financially here. And uh, we could start this fight against Batavium, although Batavium does get seven units uh, here of uh, garrison in addition to the full 20 that's in the force. And if there's one thing I've learned about these dang barbarian forces, they're not pushovers. Commander. They're not pushovers by any means. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull this army back. <clears throat> Just for a turn for or two. Um, let these let these guys finish replenishing. Give this guy a turn. What we'll do is we'll then move in with both armies at the same time. Now that we have peace on our western flank again. Um, I think that's probably the right call. Uh, we could upgrade some buildings here in our capital um, province of Italia. Like Harbor, we could bump that up to the next level. Trading port, uh, which doubles our wealth from local commerce. Um, doubles our wealth from maritime commerce. That is, a, that is actually a huge... Huge increase at the cost of some food. So yeah, that's a lot of money increase. We'll do that. Uh, and we also have our meeting place, which gives public order and wealth from local commerce per turn. Um, we will go the, the heavy... I think we can go the heavy wealth route. Um, yeah, or, or this this settlement will never be unhappy with us. So we'll go the one that provides more wealth as well and then really keep boosting up the wealth in the region. Um, I want another son to come of age because I want to increase another army. But in the meantime, here in um, Brundisium, why don't we keep training in some troops? Let's get like We're going to need a bigger fleet. Let's get like three more units of these guys. Let's just I want like one, you know, really usable navy going. Um, and do I have a what, do I have any other ports? Like here, I have military wharf, which gives me. Uh, that's the same wharf I have here in Brundisium, isn't? It? Oh wait, I was looking at Brundisium. Um, yeah, I have military wharf as well in Libyum. Uh, yeah, we might, when we get this wharf done in this, in Genoa in five turns, maybe we send a ship up there, uh, to, you know, take a, take a look at what we can do. Um, Alalia, nothing to upgrade. What about down here in the south? Um, yeah, a lot of farming we could upgrade. No doubt about that. Uh, we could also do some pits. Grain pit, uh, sorry, uh, mining pits. Upgrades. Uh, we're still gaining public order there, which is good. Um... Yeah, let's just make sure, again, I like in every region, one of these regions, like, let's just have one grain pits, which gives us the added replenishment, and then the rest can be, you know, the financial, uh, focused ones. Um, I think that's, I think that's a, that's a smart way to approach it. Like, here, you know, we have the grain pits in, um, Ariminum, and I, uh, and I, but I get the, it, it affects the entire province of, um, <clears throat> the entire province of, uh, of Italia, for example, like, I get the added replenishment. So, um, I think that's probably a good place to end the turn. I have a little bit of money. Maybe I use that with some some stuff in here. Like, what can he do? We get to a favor. Plus five gravitas. I mean, 
You get to send a gift. Could spread rumors, assassinate. I mean, I'd love to like upgrade him again, but he needs to be 25. Uh, yeah. Yeah, no one I can educate or anything, so that's fine. Okay. And turn to the next one. I wonder if they're going to attack me. They're probably not, now that I moved a lot of guys in that city. Like the, the force that moved the ships over. I wonder if they're going to attack me. I also noticed here that it looks like some um, Carthage armies are actually starving, so Carthage must have a food uh, um, shortage. Yeah, same with uh, Libya. Their units are actually suffering attrition. Venezia moved their force back. Okay. Why? Libya, you were taken over. Oh, okay. Um, that's why Libya has the red. Uh, they don't have any... They must not have any land anymore. I mean, if I go in here to Libya... Oh, they have a they have an inland province, but obviously I can't trade with the inland province. This this force, the uh, the Maasai Maasai uh, or whatever, they they are really really uh, they don't like me. They won't take a trade agreement. Speak. Yeah, they won't. Um, that's okay. Not the end of the world. Athens. We're gonna check again, welcome, guys. But may I you nothing not yet. Sell huh? much in our market. Too bad. Um. Interesting. Thapsis. Are they... Oh, sorry, not Thapsis. That, that country that owns Thapsis. Are they at war? Uh, they are at war with Libya, Carthago Nova, but not Carthage itself. That's interesting. So they've, they've, they're at war with Carthage's subjects, but not, uh, not Carthage proper. So why is Carthage struggling food-wise now? Why is this unit taking attrition? I'm not sure. I, I don't know. Um, this force here in the north... Yeah, we are gaining, um, <clears throat> we are regaining our forces. We can move our spy over towards Batavium. I do a, uh, do anything here. What does an army sabotage do? It reduces the movement range. Okay, that's not, that's not great. I would rather... What's agent subversion? Steal. Stealing gold and ancillary. Ooh. Or misdirection. Distracts an enemy agent from their mission, reducing their movement. Now let's I wanna I wanna hit the settle. Cause that uh, as yet undiscovered armies and or agents belonging to the enemy faction. Let's see if I can't get that. God, the spy's gotta be successful at something. Come on, man. Or woman. Like, come on. This person can't do anything. Um we'll leave the army here for a turn. Public order is still dropping pretty significantly, primarily because of cultural differences, although that's improving. Um, <clears throat> we do have an empty building slot now. Uh, I could do maybe a consecrated ground here, which will help improve the cultural influence. Uh, as well as, you know, I could do a villa, I could do Field of Mars. Um, I thought I dismantled this. No, I guess, it, okay, I guess I messed that up. We'll do a consecrated ground. Yeah, how many turns do we have left until a potential revolt? Uh, six. Yeah, that's not enough time to, like, you know, come take advantage of Carthage's situation, I don't think. But I would love to take, uh, get aggressive here and, and take these two provinces. So, why don't we... Why don't we do that? I mean, this is not a large force. Twelve units. Um, I mean, there is a good garrison in that settlement. But why don't we... Since that force can't get to me in one turn, why don't we pull these guys out? Yeah, we're going to attack uh, with... Yes, I know I'm trespassing, and I don't care. Uh, we're going to attack with my main general, uh, my faction leader. <clears throat> we're declared war. Done. Uh, they don't... Okay, so they don't actually have... Yeah, they don't have walls here, thank God. Um... I do get a bit of a garrison. I mean, it's, it's not a bad garrison, uh, and their large force is pretty experienced, but I have, you know, my my main force, Legio 2 Equestris and uh, Legio 1 Italica, the back, backing it up. Uh, about 4,000 men, so we can go ahead and we can assault the settlement this turn and, uh, yeah, try to jump in and take them out. 
very quick loading screen uh, for what I imagine is going to be quite a large battle. Yeah, they're setting up on the other side of this hill. Good, uh, good defensive positioning. That's fine. Let's just start battle. My reinforcements should be coming in from uh, from behind me. There they come. A whole other Roman army entering the battlefield. And we will basically be fighting them two on one here. Alright, they seem to be kind of... Well, let's get my forces together. They are advancing over the hill. Maybe they're just setting up on top. But yeah, we will we will form up and fight as one unified front. So first of all... Wow, we got a lot of guys here. Okay, Prinkapes. And Hastati. Did I miss any? Alright, we left the Triarii, Veltes, Cavalry... You, sirs, you will be our front line. You can, everyone can walk into position. We don't need to, we need to waste our energy. We're going to have a steep hill to climb here to hit their front line. Yeah, they are positioned at the top. They can watch our troop movements. Um, all right. Triarii. They have Cav. Light horse. Just on the left flank. Okay. Triarii. You will be our left flank. We got a lot of Vel levies, velites. Actually, just all velites, no levies. That's good. You men, position yourselves. And my fighting cavalry, not on the flank. And my commanders. You can be behind the front lines. Let's speed up, and let's let my massive force position itself, and then we will, uh, then we will begin this fight. So I'm gonna tell them to run, just because I don't really feel like waiting, <laughs> to be completely honest. It's just, it just was taking too long. But yeah, we got a, just an enormous force here, coming into position. No breaks in the line. Huge army. They, uh, yeah, they really, they really don't stand much of a chance here, if you ask me. Any second now, these Triarii will be in position, and we can proceed into the fight. They, they have a very, diff very nice position up here on the hill. Got to give them a. Yeah, that's their city garrison. These guys are pretty well armored for a city garrison. Better than, yeah, better than these guys. Anyway, okay. So, let's take the bulk of our force. Um, and if I group them together... How do I... How do I position lock in this game again? Group attack. No, okay, whatever. Um, hmm. Alright, you guys in the front. Let's advance forward. Happy to serve Rome. We're going to start you towards that hill. Velite's line behind them. Double time. Sons of Mars. Generals. Forward. General. In the name of Rome. Yeah, everyone can just march forward. Cavalry, let's see if I can't uh, mess with them a little bit here by kind of skirmishing with some cav as, as my infantry units advance. And this is just a, a massive force. I mean, just an enormous force of guys that I have here marching forward on them. Ready for orders. Yeah, they got no, no cavalry threat here on the left flank. Good. Most of their infantry is spear. Okay, they, they are reacting by retreating their cavalry and looks like shifting their flank, their, their army. Why don't we get everyone in position? Let's do that. Except for general's units. I don't want them leading the fronts. Melee cavalry. 
Yeah, it looks like they're might come after me here with this spear unit, or they're just they're just guarding their flank with it. Okay. That's fine. My men are moving into position. Some units take a little longer than others. <laughs> the Stadi are quicker, I guess, because they're they have a lighter armor. Nice touch there, I like that. Yeah, we're just gonna get back to a uh, strictly infantry group here. And yeah, because they're gonna that's what I was worried about. They're gonna start opening fire. Um, because they have the ranged advantage here. We need to uh, we need to advance immediately up this hill. And quickly. Alright, there we go. Some fighting is starting here on the flank. Yeah, they are doing a great job of using their advantage on the hill to, uh, to charge down on me. We are going to just go and immediately engage this front line. Cavalry charging on them, please. You men, charge in. You men, charge in. My Velites are firing. Yeah, we are. We have ended up in a bit of an outnumbered situation here. In some sections of this fight. The men are wavering. Yes, uh, shoot. Alright, you guys charge in. Our men flee the field of battle. Shoot. How did I get so outnumbered here? Sons of Mars! Prince Pace! Attack! Our men flee the field of battle! This is a shameful display. Triari, what? No, get get out of there. You're way on the flank, unnecessarily. Yeah, they just, they bulked up in the center and caught me on my way up the hill. It was well made, well done, well, well played. But we are, uh, yeah, we are starting to make some headwinds here. Let's see if I can't use some of this cavalry to my advantage. Hit them in from behind. Disrupt their lines. Charge there, please. There we go. Astati, move up. Good. This is a shameful display. Your orders. Yeah, my equites are really not in a good spot. Let's get you out of there. Yeah, keep, uh, keep it on these guys here. Equites, let's go help out this flank. They've seemed to have brought in some reinforcements over here. You guys go hit those skirmishers, please. There we go. Come on, break these guys, let's go. We're gonna pull out two of those units. Go support those men in the middle. Equities! 
Equites, turn and charge. Equites here, stay on those levy, Freeman. Yeah, these, okay, this flank is one. Alright, there we go. There we go. They're, they're breaking. Woo wee. What a fight. Jeez, that fight was crazy. There we go. Charge in on them. Charge in on the skirmishers. Get ready to face off. Last unit. Oof. I got cavalry. Horses scattered everywhere. Make sure they get out of here. Oh, they're running. They're broken. I thought they had a. They played it really well, catching me on the way up. So it threw me off that my men could go up the steep part, and they kind of separated and got funneled. Um, but fortunately, fortunately, it worked out in the end. Yeah, we'll we'll use some pila throws here. Take out these these spear nobles. I'll surround them. Completely catch them. Yeah, there we go. They, they ran. Ooh, that was a fun fight. That was really fun. I mean, I, I, like, I like I said, my troops got funneled um, on the way up that hill. If, I, if that was a one-on-one -on -one army, if I didn't have just overwhelming force, I, I think I probably don't win that. Um, I just had so many men. Like, even though a couple units routed right off the bat when they when they uh, you know, played me on the way up that hill. Uh, it ultimately didn't really matter because I just I had so many more men behind, uh, coming up from behind. So, um, it just kind of worked out that way. Now we can raise. Now nah, let's just let's just occupy this one. And that'll finish off the uh, the region for me as well. Get all three in the region. Increase the rank. Yeah, Dolabella gained rank. Military traditions. The army gained rank as well. Nice. So this army. Gained, uh, gained rank, we can, um, I think I liked this one a lot, not the Defenders, sorry, um, what was it? Keepers of the Peace is actually pretty good. Ambassadors. Unrelenting Force is really nice too. Campaign Movement Map Range is really nice to Unrelenting Force, and, uh, Dolabella, we can give you the next level of Commander. Absolutely. All right, so we have the whole region of uh, Cisalpina now. Um, it's all us. Uh, we got all three. That's that's awesome. Uh, it's huge. We can. Uh, this is a glass blower. Interesting. Um, that's a new type of settlement for me. So we can do that. Uh, bronze work. They had a workshop here. Ah, it's the equivalent of a barracks. That makes sense. Um, we can do a manipular barracks in that place, and they had a field. Um, this gives industry income, maybe, I mean, do I really need the field, you know, maybe I, uh, maybe I just dismantle and see what other options I have to build there. Yeah, okay, so we have this whole region, we have a lot of, a lot of armies in the region, which makes sense, I mean, public order is just absolutely a disaster, um, but that'll, uh, that'll pick up. Uh, that'll definitely pick up as we go. Uh, we are back at war with these guys, so I do need to just keep an eye on if that navy comes after or room them again. Um, with 5,679 left. Yeah, why don't we upgrade that harbor in Roma? Um, and we can... How many turns left until this is finished up here in Genoa? Four. All right, let's recruit one more time here, and then we'll sail. So let's recruit in three more units of the Velite's troops, and then from up here we can get our infantry troops and, and whatnot, and get a, probably a full navy going. Um, all right, cool turn. Let's let's end the turn and head to the next one. Let's see what they do. Let's see what they do. I'm actually really curious how they uh, how they approach this. Also, you can see up there in Corallus in the top right, looks like uh, 
Carthage's food issues were solved because they are no longer gaining attrition from that army. That's uh, that's position there. Rampant piracy. Pirates are a serious problem. How would you like to deal with them? We could do call to sea, fleet recruitment capacity. Um, yeah. Do a great rebellion. Okay. Research complete. A child, yes! A child was born. Uh, rebellion, that little force, that's not a problem. Uh, okay, this are this navy now. Let's get into double time. And let's sail north. We are gonna go and catch this when this finishes here. And, um... Yeah, we can get the salt by ream and uh, stuff like that. Okay. Uh, we got trade gains. Respectful. Plus one culture influence. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. And uh, plus two public order to local province. I really like that. Outraged populace. I know. What's the effect of that? Growth rate. Tax rate. Okay. War declared. Carthage. Yep, that makes sense. I was surprised Carthage wasn't at war with them. Uh, okay. So we actually, we had some missions for research, right? Um, research technology in the philosophy category. Alright, this one, we'll just do the first one, obviously. It's the only one we can do. Um, and as for the forces up here in north, why don't we take Vento and go knock out the rebels right, up, right away. Yeah, we're just gonna go take them out. It's gonna be a, a complete cakewalk of a fight. This is, this is a poor, poor force. They're well experienced. They have good chevrons, but they're not, uh, they are not strong. Alright, let's, let's, we don't need a foggy day. There we go. Alright. We will just, uh, yeah, how dare those peasants rebel. I agree, whoever's yelling that. Probably my general. You guys, we'll just hit them with the ranged units that we have, and just absolutely demolish them. Three units of cav, why don't you, uh, move out to a flank. Group one. Yeah, we can really just, just push forward. Oh, alright, we'll get up there. These guys, uh, these guys are not going to be a threat. Yeah, their army shifted around a little bit because of the cav. They just seem like they don't want to stand in one place. And, uh... Let's get into skirmisher range. And then these guys can charge forward through the skirmishers into the front line. Belites are in range. Start firing, please. Yeah, they're going to charge. They're probably overextended slightly here. Cavalry, go ahead. Take the flank. Take the center. Alright, uh, no one's... It's kind of sacrificing Bellates there unnecessarily. That was not my, not my smartest moment. The men are wavering. Brave Romans to a man. Come on, Bellates, get out of there. Uh, I, I just let them get too far ahead of my infantry. And in my Hastati unit here in the middle, like no one in that unit is just yeah. It's fine. Come on, you guys, take out these self skirmishers already. And we can go and charge in and help our, uh, help our infantry out. They're wavering still. I want to wait till they're broken. Yeah, these guys, they, they're not going to have a problem with that. Alright, there we go. Let's form up a line, and then we will charge in. Go ahead and position. Maybe we don't even need to use our cat. Get some peel of throws in here on, on them with the, uh, with the infantry that... Uh, that just finished up its, uh, its last fight. These guys are just completely exposed on the flank here and from behind, and once these men are in position, yeah, there they go. Peel of throws should just do devastating amounts of damage to them. 
should be in the operative board. Yeah, it's doing a pretty good amount. Yeah, their numbers are dwindling real quick. The enemy general is enemy general's down. We can charge in with our troops. Let's bring our cavalry over. Okay, they're all they're all gonna they're all about the route. General falling just completely sapped their morale. That unit's gonna break. This unit's about to break. There they go. And the rebels have been crushed. Alright, enemy army should be done. Yeah. Uh, I don't think we're going to... I'll just release the captives. It's fine. Take the money. And this force, I mean, I don't see why this force... Yeah, this force can continue advancing down towards that settlement. Dolabella's force, why don't you join in here for public order purposes into uh, Batavium. Um... Alright, yeah, we have a few buildings we need to upgrade here, construction sites. Uh, yeah, we got the workshop that we could do, which gives us ballistas, onagers, recruitment, heavy onager. Uh, we have the practice field, which leads to, you know, the ability to do uh, cavalry units, I think. Oh, no, that's actually just bonuses to the units that are trained here. And then Field of Mars. Um, we can also do Suburbia, which will give us manufacturing. Let's, let's do Suburbia. Here, I don't think we're going to be, you know, we don't, I don't think we're going to be, like, recruiting in, um, you know, I don't think we need a workshop here. And then here, we can do, um, I mean, meeting place, or maybe pit mine, do pit mine. Alright! So yeah, this whole area up here is really now converting over to us. Latin cultural influence will be rising at a very rapid rate, and that'll help with public order over time. Um, long video, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stop it there. We're a little past the time frame that I would usually like to let it go, but very successful video solidifying uh, this whole new region in the north. So thank you everyone for watching. Um, as always, if you enjoyed the video and you made it this far, you know please leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I really appreciate that. It helps me grow. Um, and yeah, as always, I look forward to seeing everybody in the next episode. Have a good one.